Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga and welcome by this Care Collab uh, all about a slipper orchid uh, this time but before we uh, continue let me uh, introduce you to the other participants for this Care Collab it's quite a list so I will go over them at first we have Hello Plant Lovers then we have Ed's Orchid Petals, Sepals and Spines Orchids at Home Karen's Orchids, Ruskutsol, I hope I pronounced it right, I don't think so, I'm sorry, Hillbilly Orchids, Fernanda Nascimento Orchids in Succulents, Growing Orchids in Idaho, Julius Orchids, of Julius Orchids, I'm sorry, Tots Tropicals, Mad by Nature, Trish Orchid Life, Trop Tropical Plants Finland, TD more than just orchids, Esther orchids, Michelle is alive on repeat, and Ninja orchids. So those are the ones who also all give uh, care videos today. So uh, I really would uh, would check them out. I would try. Uh, I will check all of them out, but I don't know if I can uh, do it all in one day because there's quite a list. But I can't wait to uh, look uh, and to hear about the care guides. We uh, will get uh, quite some information, uh, I think, today. So uh, let's continue and I will uh, share my care for my slipper orchids with you guys. Time. And I have four of them, the slipper orchids. So um, I do not have much of them. Uh, that's because I, I like them. But I like the other ones a bit more. So therefore I... Uh, do not uh, expand this very much, but I must admit the last two on the right, this one and that one are, uh, are from my last two hauls. So I, if I don't forget, I will uh, put a link up so you can check them out. These two guys on the left I have for quite some years and um, I think one time I managed to rebloom this one. This is the American Beauty. But this one I never rebloomed until um, I think about two days ago that the bloom opened. So that's very uh, nice for this uh, care collab as well, of course, that I have some uh, pretty blooms to show you. But uh, that, that took me about three and a half, maybe almost four years to, to get it to rebloom. So I'm not that good with them, probably because I don't uh, get noticed too much of them. I'm sorry for the backlight, I hope I can uh, show it to you. No, it's not much better. Um, I will take them off and we will have a close-up uh, in, uh, in, uh, in a second on those blooms. But yeah, like I said, I like them. I really like the, the shape uh, of them. And But I do not need uh, very much for variety. So that's why uh, I uh, have a few of them. And I did have the Pinocchio, but I lost that one sadly. It never did good for me. But um, that one and does rebloom on the same uh, spike but uh, these guys don't but like I said these are, are very uh, nice different uh, shaped blooms as you can see that goes very deep that lip with the sp spots on them maybe I can zoom in no my camera found that to be too difficult but uh, yeah and I have them here in my uh, orchid room where they, uh, as you can see, are underneath LED lights, cool white LED lights I use for markets. And they seem to do fine. The only thing that happens now on these new growths is these black spots. So, probably some calcium deficiency, something like that. So I'm working on that and I, uh, I, I should cut those off. They, they are extending. So. Uh, so I need to interfere with that and with that, what I also do like is these uh, hairy stems really hairy stems they also have hairy roots and uh, the flower spikes are, are very hairy as well so that's, uh, that's kind of nice and uh, yeah fertilizer wise I do not give them much these orchids do not need uh, much fertilizer so it's uh, around 50 to 100 each time and that's generally what I give to my orchids, but I uh, have the tendency to water these uh, the last, so I mix up a little bit of extra RO water uh, within that fertilizer water again to uh, get those uh, parts per millions down a bit, if you uh, 
know what I mean. But so yeah, but basically what I'm saying, not not much feeding at all, uh, feed at all. And um, I grow them, of course, in self-watering, of course, because I uh, probably now most uh, most orchids I uh, like to grow in self-watering. This is an old leaf. This is is there has been there for years now, and it made two new growths. As you can see, this is the black tick again. But you all can see uh, here are starting root tips. So this one did get um, grow up quite quite much. I think that is because I didn't give them enough light when I grew them in the home. But for years it didn't do much, so it didn't make any new growth to just keep these two guys. And now this one, uh, as we saw, bloomed, and this one is making a um, bud there. I hope you can see it. So. Um, let me uh, grab this one and put it on a table so we can have a closer look to bloom because I really do like the color of the bloom. It's a nice dark, dark color. So yeah, like I said, this one is called Blackjack and also a very strange shaped bloom. But yeah, I really like them, but a few of them. I, uh, like I said, I don't need, uh, need more. And very nice mottled leaves has this one. Also very fairly dark, but yeah, if you don't give them too much light, they will uh, extend and uh, grow on and try to uh, search for the light. That's not good. So they need some sort of light. I uh, like I said, I did start giving them a bit more, and now they are fine. This one is uh, decided to bloom, and also starting to work on new growth. I see a new growth here, there, and in the back. That she thing, that leaf thing, is a new growth as well. This one is already working on two new growths, has two blooms, the American hybrid, and has one bud to open up. And these two guys, this one was already in self watering, this one comes from Anna Maria. And before that, I believe this one was from Danny, from uh, Miss Orchid Girl. So that's uh, it's a nice. Uh, story I think and this one was for my uh, for my first haul from Landsbergen my first trip to an orchid nursery so also a uh, beautiful uh, story there it's a fairly big plant has quite a few uh, new growth and I see an old flower uh, flower there let's get me rip that one so yeah I hope this one uh, will uh, rebloom because these blooms are also very nice and this one had uh, more blooms on one stem so probably this one will uh, bloom a bit longer because it makes new blooms so I, I really like that as well and the night temperatures here in my orchid room are uh, 18 degrees and during the day it's something around 20 to 25 and in summer it might go up to 30 but I try to keep it uh, somewhere between 25 normally but I don't have the heater extra uh, extra heating on during the day so it's most of the times around 20 degrees and so far so good so I think uh, they are doing fine really like uh, the black uh, the uh, no it's not black but the purple spots there with the green leaves so yeah they uh, Beautiful plants, I, I'm not extremely experienced with them, but I uh, could get them to grow in self-watering. So if you are wondering if that is possible, now you know uh, it can. And that's basically it, I think. I think I uh, covered everything. So uh, this is my, uh, my care guide for the uh, slipper orchids. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And... Uh, for now, just thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!